Hello, I'm Jada Montemrano with Red Carpet Report at the Paley Center for the season two premiere of Angie Tribeca. How are you feeling with season two premiering? Uh, excited, really excited. Yeah, um, the response to season one was great, and uh, I feel like we really found the show in season two. So I'm uh, I'm anxious, and it's it's very it's very different, uh, different sensibility, but but very similar in a lot of ways. The characters have stayed the same way, but the storylines are completely different. So can you give us any sneak previews of what outlandish um, things may be coming our way? There are relationships forming, there are some alliances forming, and there's a lot of uh, really, really stupid, hard to believe stuff that we hopefully make believable. And any, I know your show is big into guest stars. Any guest stars that you would love to see on the show? Um, well, we've had so many people, and I'm not going to say who they are because it's always a great surprise. But um, well, suffice it to say, next year seasons, next year show, next year season, season two is packed, is packed, and uh, I think we use people in a really funny way too. So. And who is your favorite to work with from season one that you can talk about? From season one, I guess Bill Murray, you know, that's such a treat, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> His humor is pretty good. Yeah, and he took it incredibly seriously. Um, and that's the funny thing, like everybody takes this really stupid show, the execution of it very seriously. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, you need to, exactly. And he took it very, very seriously. He came to play and he was a team player. And yeah, it was really fun. And what's the dynamic on set? All of the jokes, you have to keep such a straight face. It's so serious. Ha do you stay serious once the cameras are off? Or? We have, um, there seems to be an, some sort of spirit or aura in my office where we seem to lose it a lot <laughs> in there. And if, say, there's a scene of four with four people in it, Usually three people can get it together at one time, but there's always one person who breaks and that destroys everybody else. Is there a specific story that you can remember when that happened? Anything really funny? I remember me, I forget why I'm eating a bowl of spaghetti while I'm having, while I'm dressing down uh, Giles and Tribeca and Dion's character and... Um, no one could keep a straight face with me eating spaghetti <laughs> as I was eating it while, while we spoke. Because, you know, as you said, it's, you got to play it deadly seriously. So you're in a police precinct being very serious about a bowl of pasta in front of you. It seems like it'd be a really fun set to work on with just the crazy, crazy storylines you guys have. It's really, really fun. And I think part of the fun is... I think the first year we had to sort of, we felt a responsibility to tell the jokes. Second season, we just let the jokes be, we just let them come out of the writing and we play it deadly seriously. Even more seriously than we played it first season, deadly seriously. We don't even acknowledge that there's a joke, <laughs> which makes it more fun. Do you know what I mean? And. I watched some of the clips from the marathon. I saw you rocking the stanky leg out oh, there in that dance scene. Thank you. How was that? It was fun. It was fun. I think everybody was nervous about uh, me because I didn't go to any of the rehearsals. And then I showed up on the day, and uh, I think they were a little nervous about what was going to happen. But um, yeah, I brought it. Yeah, right? Did. Thank it you. Came out perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thanks. It was nice Thanks. meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more. Also, leave us a comment of who you would like to see guest star in Angie Tribeca, and keep a lookout for season two.